Beneath the tranquil surface of California's landscape lies a geological time bomb, poised to unleash destruction beyond human comprehension, the San Andreas Fault. In a single catastrophic moment, a magnitude 10.0 earthquake could transform one of America's most vibrant regions into an apocalyptic wasteland, obliterating decades of human infrastructure and rewriting the geological map in mere minutes. This is not a Hollywood fantasy, but a scientifically plausible scenario that could reshape the future of an entire continent, challenging everything we understand about human resilience and planetary dynamics. Prepare to witness the terrifying potential of Earth's most dangerous fault line, where the boundary between scientific speculation and potential reality becomes devastatingly thin. Welcome to Planetary Possibilities. My name is Aria. It starts subtly, a tremor that barely rattles windows along the San Andreas Fault, a whisper of the chaos to come. Then it hits. A monstrous, relentless force surges upwards, tearing through the Earth's crust with a ferocity that defies comprehension. Buildings sway, then crumble, as if made of sandcastles, their foundations no match for the sheer power unleashed. From Los Angeles to San Francisco, the ground dances to a terrifying rhythm, a 10.0 earthquake, the likes of which California has never seen. The very fabric of the state is tested, stretched to its limits. Dust chokes the sky, blotting out the sun, turning day into a nightmarish twilight. This is not a Hollywood fantasy, but a scientifically plausible scenario that could reshape the future of an entire continent. This is the raw, untamed power of nature, unleashed with unimaginable fury, a reminder of our planet's unpredictable might. This is California, a land of beauty and danger, where the Earth's power is both a curse and a reminder of the possible destruction that lies beneath. The San Andreas Fault, a scar across the face of California, stretches for over 800 miles. It marks the boundary between the Pacific and North American tectonic plates, constantly grinding against each other. The strain builds for centuries, accumulating like a coiled spring. Then it snaps. Past earthquakes, like the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, magnitude 7.9, serve as stark reminders of the fault's destructive potential. A 10.0 earthquake, however, is a different beast altogether. It represents a near total release of centuries of accumulated stress, an event so powerful it defies easy comprehension. While rare, the possibility of such a megaquake is a stark reality for those living along the fault line. The Richter scale, a logarithmic measure of earthquake magnitude, helps us understand the sheer power of a 10.0 event. This scale, developed in 1935 by Charles F. Richter, has become a fundamental tool in seismology, allowing scientists to quantify the energy released by an earthquake. The scale is logarithmic, meaning each whole number increase represents a significant jump in both wave amplitude and energy release. Each whole number increase on the scale represents a tenfold increase in wave amplitude and a 32-fold increase in energy release. For instance, an earthquake that measures six on the Richter scale releases 32 times more energy than one that measures five. This exponential growth in energy release is what makes higher magnitude earthquakes so devastating and dangerous. A 10.0 earthquake is not just twice as powerful as a 5.0, it dwarfs even the most devastating earthquakes in recorded history. To put it into perspective, a 10.0 earthquake would release energy equivalent to approximately 1 billion tons of TNT. This is a level of destruction that is almost unimaginable, capable of causing widespread devastation over vast areas. The 1960 Valdivia earthquake in Chile, the largest ever recorded at a magnitude of 9.5, offers a glimpse into the potential devastation. This earthquake caused massive landslides, widespread infrastructure damage, and significant loss of life. The energy released was so immense that it triggered tsunamis that traveled across the Pacific Ocean, affecting coastal areas thousands of miles away. That earthquake caused tsunamis that ravaged the Pacific and reshaped coastlines. The waves reached as far as Japan and the Philippines, demonstrating the far-reaching impact of such a powerful seismic event. The tsunamis caused additional destruction, compounding the already catastrophic effects of the earthquake itself. A 10.0 earthquake would be exponentially more powerful, its effects felt across continents and etched into the planet's history. 
the sheer scale of destruction would be unprecedented, with the potential to alter landscapes, disrupt ecosystems, and impact human civilization on a global scale. Such an event would not only be a natural disaster, but a historical milestone, forever changing the way we understand and prepare for earthquakes. Imagine the Earth itself rippling like waves on a pond. The ground beneath us, which we often take for granted as solid and unyielding, suddenly becomes fluid and unpredictable. This is the terrifying reality of an earthquake, where the very foundation of our world is shaken to its core. Buildings, even those designed to withstand earthquakes, would be reduced to rubble. The engineering marvels that define our skylines, painstakingly constructed to endure the forces of nature, would crumble in mere moments. The sheer force of the quake would overwhelm even the most robust structures. Bridges would twist and collapse. These vital arteries of transportation, connecting cities and communities, would be rendered impassable. The twisted metal and shattered concrete would stand as grim reminders of the quake's power. The iconic California landscape would be forever altered. Rolling hills and serene coastlines would bear the scars of the seismic upheaval. The natural beauty of the region, so often celebrated, would be marred by the devastation. Coastal areas would be vulnerable to tsunamis, walls of water crashing inland, swallowing everything in their path. These massive waves, triggered by the undersea quake, would surge with unstoppable force, obliterating homes, businesses, and lives in their wake. Fires would erupt, fueled by ruptured gas lines and downed power lines. The chaos of the quake would be compounded by the infernos that follow, spreading rapidly and consuming everything in their path. The air would be thick with smoke, adding another layer of peril to the already dire situation. The infrastructure we rely on, roads, electricity, water, would vanish in an instant. The lifelines of modern society, essential for daily life and emergency response, would be severed. The loss of these critical services would plunge affected areas into darkness and isolation. The very ground beneath our feet would become a hazard, riddled with gaping fissures and prone to liquefaction, where solid ground behaves like a liquid. This phenomenon would cause buildings to sink and collapse, further exacerbating the destruction. The aftermath would be a scene of unimaginable destruction, a testament to the raw power of nature unleashed. The once vibrant cityscapes would be transformed into landscapes of ruin, where the resilience of the human spirit would be tested as communities come together to rebuild and recover from the devastation. The human cost of a magnitude 10 earthquake in California is almost too horrific to contemplate. Casualties would likely be in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions. The injured would overwhelm hospitals, many of which would themselves be in ruins. The search for survivors would be a race against time, hampered by blocked roads, downed communication lines, and the sheer scale of the disaster. The immediate aftermath would be marked by chaos and desperation. Food, water, and medical supplies would be scarce. The social fabric would be stretched to its breaking point, with widespread panic and looting a real possibility. The psychological toll, both on survivors and on first responders, would be profound and long-lasting. Seismologists and disaster preparedness experts have long warned of the potential for a megaquake in California. They stress the importance of research both to better understand earthquake mechanics and to develop more effective building codes and early warning systems. We can't prevent earthquakes, says Dr. Lucy Jones, a leading seismologist, but we can mitigate their impact. The key, experts say, is preparedness. This includes everything from individual and family emergency plans to community-wide drills and infrastructure improvements. We need to move from a culture of reaction to a culture of prevention, urges Dr. Jones. The time to act is now, before the next big one hits. While the prospect of a 10.0 earthquake is terrifying, it is not a reason to despair. Knowledge is power, and understanding the risks is the first step towards mitigating them. Every Californian has a role to play in preparing for the inevitable. Simple steps, like securing heavy objects in your home, having an emergency kit ready, and knowing evacuation routes, can make a life or death difference. Community-level preparedness, including strengthening infrastructure and conducting regular drills, is equally crucial. By working together, we can build a more resilient California, better prepared to withstand the tremors of even the most powerful earthquake. The San Andreas Fault is a constant reminder that we live in a seismically active region. While we cannot predict when the next big one will hit, we can choose how prepared we are. 
The potential for a 10.0 earthquake, though daunting, underscores the need for proactive measures. By embracing a culture of preparedness, investing in research and infrastructure, and fostering community resilience, we can face the future with greater confidence. The earth may shake, but our spirit will not be broken. For in the face of nature's awesome power, it is our collective resilience that will determine our fate. If you found this video captivating, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on everything that is planetary possibilities.